Nvidia has added a bit of confusion in DLSS, so we are going to clear that up for you and show you how to update DLSS to the latest version. On February 10th, Nvidia released DLSS version 3.1.1 for DLSS 2, or DLSS that works on any RTX Nvidia card. Then on March 20th, Nvidia jumps DLSS 3 for the 40 series RTX cards to version 3.1.1 from 1.0.7. In my mind, and probably others, this is confusing as WHAT?! Now, most recently, both DLSS versions 2 and 3 are both version tied at 3.5.0. Now, I researched and reached out to some developers and could not find a definite answer to why this numerical merge has happened. I do want to dispense with the confusion now, however. The new version 3.5 has a note included on both files, NVIDIA UE5 plugin. Reading further, this new plugin allows the Unreal Engine developers to streamline DLSS features without any extra work. DLSS 2 or 3 works side by side with this new dev kit. Now, from a speculative standpoint, NVIDIA has consolidated the version numbering for the development kit itself. Both DLSS and DLSSG, or frame generation, should now be locked in version numbering. Now you'll still need an RTX 20 or 30 series video card for DLSS and a 40 series card for DLSSG. 40 series cards are backward compatible with regular DLSS in case you were wondering. So now, to update your DLSS or DLSSG file, you simply go to techpowerup.com Go to the appropriate DLSS for 20 and 30 series cards or DLSS frame gen for the 40 series cards. So for DLSS, we got 3.5. Download the file, hit extract all, then search the computer for nvngx underscore DLSS dot DLL. Once it finds a file, you can right click on the file you want to update and hit open file location. From there, rename the old DLSS file at the end to .old.old. Then go back to downloads and copy the new DLSS file to your game's location. Done! You should now have an updated DLSS file to the latest version. What? For DLSSG, same process. Go to the frame gen link download the file, hit extract all, then we search a computer for nvngx underscore dlssg dot dll. Once it finds the files, you can right click on the one you want to update, hit open file location. From there, rename the old dlss file at the end to .old, then go back to downloads and copy the new DLSSG file to your game's location. It's that easy. To reverse this process, delete the new updated file and rename the old file, the one with .old at the end. Just remove that, delete the .old, and now you have an original file. Super easy. Some games do not like this type of update and might not work correctly. If so, simply reverse the process and stop, or try another older version of the DLSS file. Feel free to leave questions and feedback in the comments section below. Check out some of my other videos. Thanks a million, folks. I love you people.